Welcome to our show! Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Make sure you subscribe to join our little family. I get so many questions about how I edit my Instagram pictures, how I take selfies, and I decided why not do a video on it. It's kind of hard to like explain through like a DM how I edit my pictures because it's like it's always kind of different and there's just a lot of steps I go through. So I'm going to be um, showing you guys how I edit my pictures and also a little clip of how I take my selfies. There's not a whole lot to it, um, but I will explain it to you. Before I start, I'm going to be talking about this hair again, of course. I've been rocking this curly hair for the past couple of days. I still... <laughs> my frontal is kind of a mess. It doesn't look that great, but I think it's kind of cute. Um, I don't know if curly hair is something I'll be wearing every day, but it's quite a look, guys. Um, if you want to know where this hair is from, I'm going to be leaving all the links down below. It's by Beauty Forever. It's their Malaysian Curly in 22, 24, 26. So, yeah, if you want to know more about it, it's in the description. Make sure you go check it out. And, yeah, let's just get into the video. So, when it comes to taking my selfies... The one tip I just have is good lighting. All you need is good ass lighting. The best day to take selfies is when it's super sunny outside and you can stand in front of the window and you have like really good sunlight. Sometimes a lot of people say don't do this, but I actually like the way it looks when you stand in direct sunlight and like your face gets this like, I don't know, this beautiful sun-kissed effect. I prefer taking pictures in front of the window with like good lighting but here like especially in the winter it gets so cloudy and the lighting is just really bad so I do sometimes use my ring light which I'm filming with right now or I like do both natural lighting and a ring light that can look really good. I'll leave a link down below to what ring light I have. It's honestly not that fancy like it's pretty cheap but um, it works fine. So I do use my ring light for pictures sometimes, but I prefer natural lighting because it just looks better. But yeah, uh, you'll see some clips of me taking selfies, which is like really weird for me to record. I don't know. What I also do to make sure the lighting stays good is I click on the screen and like hold it so it gets that lock on it. And then you can like play around with like the brightness and it'll stay like that. So even if the lighting is moving or your phone is moving, it's gonna stay focused on that point that you locked so that you don't all of a sudden get like a super bright face because that's really annoying when you're taking selfies and you also want to make sure that you keep moving that's what I do I take like a hundred two hundred selfies and then only like five of them look good sometimes only one sometimes there's none that look good and it's just like okay you know what today's not my day it happens to everyone but just keep moving keep clicking and then eventually there will be like at least one that's gonna look good and even if you have to like face tune it a little bit girl do your thing whatever <laughs> so that's pretty much that now i'm gonna go on to the editing portion i'm just gonna quickly run through the selfies i took and favorite the ones that i like why do they all look so bad <laughs> usually when i'm taking selfies for some reason like it looks really good and then when i look back at the pictures i'm like I don't remember taking these. So I always click on favorite on the ones that I like and then I go through and delete every single one that I don't like. I'm just a very organized person. I don't like having like selfies that I hate in my camera roll. Like I don't want to be reminded by how ugly I can look. I have like my editing folder is like super full. I have like all kinds of apps because like when I got this phone, I have like 128 gigabytes on it. I cannot use that up. So I've just been downloading apps that I want to use sometimes. Like even if I don't use them, I download them because I have enough space anyways. So I have like loads of um, apps in there. But basically, I would say the first one to start out with is Facetune. Um, we're going to be adding this picture that you're going to see. I should probably move over. Let me do that. That's really better. So we're going to be adding this picture. And I prefer Facetune too. Kind of just because there's like more options. But I do have to say with the original Facetune, details and everything and smooth is so much more powerful. Like especially details. Details look way better on there. But I don't really feel like having both like... I'll just do with Facetune too. So the first thing that I usually do is crop it into a square if I know that I'm just going to be posting it on Instagram and not really any other social media. But I just prefer cropping it in a square anyways. 
Um, so then I like making the background black and white. I either do this on my laptop using Photoshop or I use Facetune. If I'm like just at home and I have my computer, I usually just open all my pictures in Photoshop and I do it on there because it's way more precise and it looks way better. But for this video, I'm just going to be doing it on my phone and I'm going to click the black and white tool. So what I do is I just go over the background. Um, I don't really get it. You can see my ring light there. And I zoom in and I go in here like that. Sometimes I go over my hair. Like I don't think it's that big of a deal if your hair is dark. Um, there. Okay, so that's pretty much there. You can see the difference. As you can see, my skin doesn't look the best because like the lighting is like okay, but it's not perfect. So I do go in with the smooth tool. Sometimes I don't have to do this at all. And then sometimes like my skin just looks really bad. Um, some people say, oh, just let me go in. Um, I just fucking go in. Like, <laughs> I don't really care. Like, I just randomly go into some spots. And there you'll see the difference. I'm a blur now. Then I like to go in with details and I zoom in and I like to go over my eyes, my eyebrows, other eye. I like to zoom in a lot on my highlight and like go over like that. But when you zoom in a lot, like you're not gonna get like a weird look. Like it's just gonna look very good. Um, and this one, I'm just gonna tap on it. And then my lips, I like to go in with a smooth tool as well sometimes. Just smoothing it out a bit, just tapping on that. And then I go in with details on my cupid's bow. And since I have a septic bracing, now I can go over there as well. Um, and then I put it up a bit. And here you can see the difference. Now sometimes, like right now, I feel like my skin looks a bit ashy. So what I like to do is I go over with glow. And then I lower it. So it's like... I just feel like that does something um, so that's that if I feel really ugly one day what usually helps is flipping it I don't know why but sometimes just flipping the picture makes you look better it's like when you say like oh I look better on the snapchat camera it's because it's flipped and that's like what you see in the mirror that's what you're used to um, and sometimes that just looks better to me so I have flipped this picture I don't know so then what I like to do is I go into after light and people always ask me like, oh, how do you do like the grainy effect? How do you do like the light leaks? This is how I do it. So the first thing I do is I go into sharpen and I sharpen my picture because I think it makes it look better. Um, and then I go into dusty. The only one I use is 11. And then with selfies, I usually take it down a little bit. You can also flip it around. Like I, right now we're good, but I don't like when there's like the stripes like on my face. Um, oh wait, I need to lower it a bit. I usually do it around like 70. And then I like to up the contrast a bit so it's not as like, I don't know, ashy looking. And for light leaks, I just go in with whatever I feel fits the picture. Like, my favorite was, um, 7. And I would like flip it and do all kinds of stuff. But... And also like six. I like all of them. Like you just can't, you can play around with them. You can change the color. I think I'll do this one, which is ten on number five, and then and then just lowered. Um, yeah, that's just it for this picture. I'm just gonna save that. So then, um, yeah, I go into Visco. I'm just going to up the contrast to like one and then i like upping highlights because this makes me look tan again because sometimes i feel like i'm just so washed out in pictures um and i'm also i wouldn't say i'm like pale but i'm pretty light right now i'm not tan or anything so um and then obviously i like to add gray sometimes i add it like super high kind of depends i'm doing it i think this is good and here you'll see like the background becomes kind of dark so that's when oh my leg so that's when I'm going to be going in with um, Snapseed. I'm going to lighten this a bit. There. Oh wait, I also wanted to add contrast to my face. Okay. 
So that's pretty much that. Then I go into Unum. I've been using this app for like so, so long. Basically, here you'll see my feed right now. I always make sure this is like, um, there's no like gaps here because sometimes it looks like this and I always make sure it looks like that. I don't know how I would explain that. But I look at my feed. I wouldn't post it because it's like next to that one and like I just posted a selfie. I would usually, I would probably post it like there. Um, and then post like other stuff in between. I don't really have like a, a theme going on. I just kind of post what I feel like looks cute. But that's pretty much how I edit most of my pictures. I'll show you how I add a light leak through PixArt. I keep moving to the center. There we go. So I'll click on edit. I'll like use this one and I'll go to add photo. Let me, f I think I have one saved somewhere. Yeah. So I've, so I'll add this one, which I got off of Google. And I'll go into blend and I sometimes do screen, but I prefer lighten. So like for instance, I'll like put it, where do I want to put it? I'll like just kind of flip it and do something cool with it. Oh, I actually like that. Like that, maybe. And it'll look like this. Like, I think that's pretty cool. I might actually change it to this one. And then I just save it to my camera roll. And you can do this with all kinds of light leaks. Just Google anything. And you can Google like different colors, whatever you're into. So that's pretty much how I edit my Instagram pictures. Um, people also always ask how I, like when I post on my story, I post these like kind of like, film looking pictures um, and for that i use the app huji so basically you can like open any picture you want um and you can like click if you want the date on it you can choose from uh 98 from photo or none when it comes to the date you can add like a random light effect save immediately into photos which i also don't really do and then begin developing and then this is what you get and it looks like it's taken on like like a um, disposable camera that's pretty cool i usually do that for like my stories or like if i want to be extra or there's like a picture i really like so that's pretty much it that's how i edit my instagram pictures um i do want to like have a feed really bad and i keep trying but i just cannot keep up with it and i and i also don't really have like someone to take pictures of me so only if i like go somewhere like for instance, a couple weeks ago, I went to Luca and we took like quite some pictures and it made my feet look really cute. And then I got home and there's just like back to selfies because like that's all I take. I hope this video was helpful. And if there's any like cool editing apps that you use or like stuff that you do, leave it down below in the comments. Help each other out. Give each other inspiration. Um, you can drop your Instagram there. Go follow each other. I don't know. <laughs> and um yeah make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe also make sure you turn on my post notifications so you'll be notified every time i upload a video i love you guys and i'll see you in my next one this animal, this